Well, they should work when I want to. <coughs> ah, perfect beauty. Wow, beauty. Where's my nose? for this shit. I say it would be nice.
Beauty. Easy now. Oh, do I have to skin it? Yeah, it won't take long, girl. So you can't fly. Oh. Can't do anything. You should know who I am. You say it like every damn time I come in. Whoa. Hello, sir. Arthur. Are you busy, Arthur? Do I look busy? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think I've played this before, so I'm just gonna skip it. Where the fuck's my horse? Hmm. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go, go wrong. wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? 
gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Really? Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Help you, Dick. Oh, you fucking idiot. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Fine and dandy. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Ah, uh, my gun? Oh, Sorry. I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the Greys. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. <laughs> a terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. I do. Ain't you kind, sir? <laughs> Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, Ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the. Don't mind the what washing did you machine. Call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> Inspector Documenta. I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. Come on, yes, sir. Girl.
What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning... Yeah, what's the machine play? are whipping them up so they want something on the side like he said there strawberry could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work i ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you so i wouldn't worry too much dear boy all this trouble you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities aren't you <laughs> Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Mikey. so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Fuck you, you prick. Rude bastard. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. I swear I've done this already. Oh. Maybe it didn't save. That's a pretty horse. Miss Damson, you owe it. <laughs> I can't get to the box. What the fucking dude watching? Can't say enough, Mrs. Damson. 
So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for once. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. It was all the work. <laughs> Got any um No it may used to be some freaking uh, alligators hanging around. Uh hello. No fish. That didn't sound pleasant. Oh, I need to get out. Oh, no, there he is. He's over there. Get out. Get out. <laughs> eh. There he is. Fuck you. That's a nice fish. Hopefully he's dead. Nope. I don't want to go for the fish anyway. But I can't for some reason. Get up. Do the right thing. Beat it a crocodile. Sorry, alligator. Here you go, mate. Have a feed. I should really pay my bounty off, eh? Been waiting for you, Arthur. Really? Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. 
They spoke to Bill about a job. Needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Mm. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel hmm. right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me, dude. Probably sh should have killed him first, eh? Shit all of a sudden. I'll get the front. You take the back. You're gonna walk out of here. You crap. Real heavy over here, fellas. Cross me. We need to get into this store, Fucking... How the fuck do you get in there? Get in there when I fucking can, can.
getting sloppy, Morgan. Do you see that window in Sean's skull? Don't talk to me about sloppy. Better in here, not there. <laughs> Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? Well, he took we'll for fucking ever. I still do cash. <laughs> Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this. It's going to hell! You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff! It's over! We put down far worse than you! A hundred times over! Uh, this right. is the Grays town! Always has been, always will be! Only Grays I see left around here is you! <laughs> you want us to come out? We'll come out! Yeah. Ah, oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way. Fuck, that's rough, eh? He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up. <laughs> nice. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold. But a shitload of trouble. Interesting. Yep. that was Dutch. But I hate Dutch so much he's just not the greatest character he's, he's an asshole Seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where uh, is he? Where's my, my problem, son? But... They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? <laughs> don't know. Okay. But we have to Let's go looking go for him, don't we? Boy back. There's a lot of people to get a kid back. Oh. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah. We just got sh got to hell by the Grays in town. I know. 
I heard about Sean, too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. For Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Yes, sir. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that. I got a feeling this one's not gonna be easy. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> there they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! <laughs> what the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Bang, bang. We're gonna have problems, are we? If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Kick the door in. Jack! Oh shit! Ah! Oh fuck it out. Fuck! <laughs> Jesus. Get out 
goddamn thing! One, two, three! Fuck, I'm horrible at that, for some reason. You want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. <laughs> Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dad. What are you living at your tools? Guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here. <laughs> Take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite. You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. It's going to work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now. <laughs> Come on, John. This is crazy. Idiot. Follow me. I know the way. gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart! <laughs> Too. Get involved with those two families. 
Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change the curious. What can only guys. move on. Hey, wait for me. Where the fuck is John? You gonna stick with me now? Excuse me? So, you were saying? But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. Anyway, what was you talking about? Oh, don't you fix it. Don't you come up with a plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. You can't put all this on Dutch. You worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, you were just talking about something. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. You're all there, mate. Taking a shit. Oh, shit. It's them again. Uh. Ah! Oh. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Soon enough, you are some of the cowards. Sure. How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Come help me with this. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay, <laughs> I 
can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up at the caravan. Guide them in. All right, see you soon. Oh, really? That's fucking annoying. Fucking slow, am I? This is rigged. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families, losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, We'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes.
Come in. I'll be right over. Okay, I see we'll be right. I don't even want to know where that money came from. No, you don't. What you need. Where'd you get all this money? Actually, no, no I don't want to know. No, you don't. Thanks. Hey there, sir. You just left. You all right? Got something to post? <laughs> yeah, right. I'll be sure it gets to the right folks. <laughs> be seeing you. Saint-Denis would call you back to me sooner or later. Please, look around. Much to see. Hmm, sure. I'll take a look. Something in mind? All I need are the right materials. Hope you know what you're doing. No, not really. You have a distinctive palette. Such a long time. <laughs> time for a new gun, perhaps? Do you need any assistance? Mm, not really. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. 
I can see you look after your firebomb. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Stop it, page shit. No, I can see you look after your firebomb. You know, we sell plenty of parts to improve that weapon. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So Shut many people the don't. Fuck up, mate. You ever thought about getting some enhancements for that gun? I'll give you fucking enhancement in a minute, mate. That firearm will be much happy with the cleaning and some gun oil. Now, let me see. You made a good decision. We do a range of excellent sights for that gun. They can really make a difference. That's a fine firearm. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Excellent choice. Well, you don't mess around. I have some better quality components right, if you're looking up. for the best. I think that's the right choice for you. Nice and sharper. I like it. Listen this out. Thank you. you talk too much. Okay then, partner. What now? Oh, 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 we know all about you. So just make it easy. Shit. Fuck, that's a good gun. a little too much. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. He looks like he could shit on your front porch, that bloke. <laughs> what else we got, eh? What's this? Studio. Let's go buy a new horse, eh? Good night, sir. Good night. How the hell do I get out of here? fucking walk. Nice horses for me, mate. <coughs> Hello there. Hello. Is that horse doing all right? Buy a horse. I'm happy to stable that for you. No. No. Oh, yeah. Good. Nice black one. Hey. Uh, what do we call it? Hmm. Sounds good. Oh, serious? Quite a few horses for sale. Mm. Make it me middle name. It's appropriate. Hey, it costs more for a reason. Does it really? Upgrade. Ooh. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Yeah, I know, but I got one of them myself. Yeah, grooming a horse sure makes it a beaut. What's with the static noise? All right, you bet. Nice bit of grooming. People take notice. Bring that horse back if you need anything. 
Hey, you're okay, girl. Nasty. Yes, we got it. Eh? Ah. Could go for a new outfit, I guess. Careful. Watch out. Bonjour, monsieur. Yeah, that'd be nice. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Fair enough, man. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Because I'm cheeky hats. Hmm, no. I ain't tickling me pickle. I only stock the best in my shop. Holy Buy shit. for me, and you'll never be disappointed. What if you got? Oh, I don't think I am changing my clothes. They're all shit. All oh. right then. But oh. if there was anything in there that caught your eye, online has be way right. better clothes. It's always fucking online. Oh, shut up, what Good morning, sir. I am an American. You folks are really spoiling the view. <laughs> They'll speak like that to us. Shut it. Oh no, 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 no.
invited to? Nothing. Nothing at all. Why don't you leave now before this gets any worse for you? Sorry. I'll stop messing with you now. Hey. And sit down and walk my Good morning to you, sir. Morning to you. You got any idea what time it is? Haven't the slightest. I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. Take care now. See you around. Yeah, that's just manners or manners. What in the world? Get out of the way, you rude bastard. What else we got around here, eh? Trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy name like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay, thank you. Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So here we are in the spring. Mm -hmm. me. I'll meet you back here and on. Am I ugly or something? <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty hey, can little I get a drink here? <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. Over here. No, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Well, I'll fucking show you. How can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. 
from Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend. You'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and... Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? <laughs> I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. So you better like we didn't have come the on, money, then. Eh? You new to the city, mister? I wonder what happens if you don't. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Get back here. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. 
talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> oh. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire <laughs> anymore. But I found this. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of... Parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. <laughs> All right, it's time for a feed and turn this off, I guess, eh? What? Why can't I save it? How about now? Oh, fuck me, dead. Ah, beauty. <laughs> 